Frozen 2. That's right. Today we are creating two stunning doll cakes inspired by gowns in Frozen 2, the movie. We got this stunning gown from Elsa and we got another one for Anna. I'm very proud of these cakes. Hello, my name is Asian Mraz. Let's get started. Let's create these doll cakes. I'm starting out with the doll cake basics. I baked two box cakes in my Wilton's doll cake pan and I'm just cutting it into three equal layers. Each layer is going to have buttercream in between just so that there's more sweetness and it gives it a little bit more height as well just so that it falls at the hips of my doll. I had to do this twice because I'm creating two doll cakes. It's a lot of cake, four boxes, six eggs, two cups of water, and I think a cup of oil. Yep, yep, yep. Put it in the pan, put it in the oven. Comes out two hours later, or whenever I remember to pull it out. <laughs> timers, what are timers? I don't know what timers are. So the first doll we're gonna create is Anna. I love this doll. I think it's probably one of the best black dresses I've created so far. Now I added a 10 inch piece of fondant to create the skirt and I didn't smoothen out the bottom. I just added some folds and placed in my Anna doll. Oh. I love where the cake falls because there's not a lot of volume around her hips and it creates this really nice V shape. Now I tried to follow this dress as closely as I could to what she's wearing in the poster, but I tried to make it look more elegant, more formal, because she's not just walking around the woods. I wanted it to look like she's going to like a masquerade ball or something. Would you wear this to the prom? Do people wear black dresses to the prom? I guess. I would have worn it if somebody asked me to go, but no, nobody did. That's fine, it's okay, I had fun at home. <laughs> now we've got some panels of fondant to add some fabric texture. You know, it makes it look so much more va va boom, I think, when you add these panels. And then I gave her this like really nice cape. Oh, it bothers me so much that her head is turned around. I know it's a doll, but heads are not supposed to go all the way back like that. And I decided to split her cape in half because I wanted to be able to see underneath her arms so that you can see like her waist. And when I created a cape that was just like one big cape, you couldn't see that. It just looked completely black. So I added the same colors to the top of her dress as the poster and then I'm adding some mustard yellow fondant to create some detail for the rest of her gown. This adds a lot because you can actually see how the panels that I added earlier, how they fall on the rest of the dress and they don't get lost, which kind of happens because black doesn't show up so well on camera. Now creating all of this little fondant detail was pretty fun. It took a long time, but I was just watching episodes of The Office while I was doing it. This is my fifth time watching all nine seasons because I don't have to watch The Office since I've seen it so much. I just listen to the dialogue and I can see what's going on in the scene. And so that's why I watch it a lot. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's just nice to have on in the background. It makes me feel like I have coworkers. <laughs> now the fondant pieces that I add to the chest are just a little bit smaller than the ones on the bottom of the gown. And I didn't think that this sparkled enough, especially since it's a black dress. So I'm adding some gold detail, just a little bit of gold luster dust that I diluted in some magic sauce. And I just added gold detail all over the cake. Yeah, it upgrades this dress so much. Now 
I wanted to make the red and the purple stand out a little bit more, so I'm adding luster dust there as well. It sparkles, it shines, and voila, my Anna doll cake was complete. Stunning, right? Those little details, ooh, they add so much to this black dress. And that split cape, ooh, that was such a good idea. Now let's move on to Elsa. Now for Elsa, I'm covering it in this really, oh, what color is this? I covered it in a really nice, like exotic lilac. It's actually probably like two shades lighter, but it's exotic lilac. I'm doing the exact same thing, just making sure that I don't smoothen out the bottom, giving it as many folds as I can so that this dress looks full and voluminous. Is voluminous a word? I, did I see that in a Pantene Pro V commercial? I don't know, probably. Now for Elsa, I'm recreating the dress that she wears in the toys. <laughs> it's not on the poster, but it's the one, I think it's like the dress that she's gonna wear at the end of the movie. I changed it up quite a bit. I wanted to have a little bit of more modern take, but I also had to make sure that it, it looked a little bit more sophisticated, like something you'd wear to a ball. Ooh, now we're adding some purple panels to the side. What kind of purple? It's like a pale eggplant. In between a pale eggplant and a purple springs. Beautiful colors, gorgeous. Now I wanted to add a little bit of depth to the bottom because I know that the bottom of the dress is darker than the top and I'm doing that by this like sort of watercolor effect. I added some diluted purple food coloring in some magic sauce and just worked my way up the rest of the dress with a brush. I was scared that it wasn't gonna look nice. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't turn out the way that I want it to. And when you're adding food coloring to a gown, it could be disastrous if it doesn't look nice. But it did, so I'm happy with that. Now, there is a lot of detail that's gonna be added to the bottom of this dress using royal icing. And you'll notice that my royal icing is actually really, really loose. And I didn't realize how soft it was and how drippy it was, um, but that's okay. It was a mistake. But if you're gonna recreate this dress, make sure that your icing's pretty stiff. Now, besides white royal icing, I'm adding some Ooh, let's look at other colors. I'm adding a little bit of rose wine. I like that. And then there's a more pinkish. Ooh, like a candied apple. I thought those two colors look really nice with my purple six lit. I am adding a little bit more detail with a fine paintbrush, just to sort of like emulate the snowflake set. Elsa creates. And voila, my stunning Elsa doll cake was complete. Oh gosh. I love the sleeves. I love all of that white icing detail and the small amount of white paint that I used to finish off each of the snowflakes or like snowflake like details looks so nice. Oh, and that watercolor flag. Damn, I did a good job. <laughs> oh, and let's not forget about this Anna doll cake because all of the little gold fonded detail. Ooh, it's giving me the feels. It looks so nice. And that double cape is like perfect for this outfit. Which one of these cakes do you like better? I, I, I don't know. Probably the Elsa one, just because I like all of the white snowflake detail on the bottom. And I like the cut of her top too. Oh, and the, those sleeves are everything, aren't they? <laughs> I'm curious, what did you think of Frozen 2? I heard a lot of things. I heard it's darker, I heard the songs are catchier. So I'm excited. And I got two more Frozen Dawn Cakes coming your way and I hope they blow you away because they're pretty stunning. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I'll see you very soon. Peace.